everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have my entire WWE Elite Figure Custom Fantasy Attire Collection. Every figure you will see in this video is a fantasy attire inspired by myself and just a vision that I had in my brain. And so I'm going to take you through it, guys. We've got some epic customs in here. I don't think we've done this video in a year. I did do this video before, but it was a whole year ago. I think we're missing a couple figures now that I'm looking back at the other video. Um, I may need to like get some more added in here. I think I'm missing two or three that I need to get off the shelf now, but uh, we'll add those in just a few moments. But anyways, guys, diving right into it, you guys see here, we got a bunch of Rollins, Balor, Styles, Ziggler, Kevin Owens, Jeff Hardy. We got some good stuff to go through, guys. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Starting off with probably one of my favorite figures in my collection, it is the Punisher attire, Seth freaking Rollins. And I said that all these come from my brain, but this one did have some inspiration. There was a guy that made this attire on PS4 for 2K, WWE 2K. Okay, and uh, this is exactly what it looked like on the vest. I love the design, and I, I was just really on um, on Google, kind of looking around at some different things. And so I came across that photo, and I said, "Brad, I gotta make this into a custom." This is the final product. You got the Punisher skull there on the side. You have the Seth Rollins lines going down in white. You got the SR logo in white. You have the white on the kick pads. You have the Punisher logo on the knee pad. Uh, they had the SR logo here, but I felt that it needed more Punisher on it, so I put the skull on there as well. The Top Talents 2018 Seth Rollins arms on there are perfect because it's white with, uh, or it's black with white SR logo. It's just a perfect figure, man. One of my favorites in my collection, and I had to add it to the video. Well, I say I had to add it to the video because it's my fantasy attire collection, you stupid jackass idiot. Moving along, guys, we have another fantasy attire Seth Rollins, and this one was made by Burnout Inc. This is my vision again, and it is a white, black, and royal blue Seth Rollins. It's sort of a lighter blue here. It also has some gray in it. As you guys know, white is my favorite color and you guys will see a bunch of white fantasy attires in this video, so this will not be the last one that you see, but see here it's uh, basically his TNF Rollins you know, the gray and black attire, except it has uh, a bunch of different color variations, white tights, white SRs black and white lines going on, royal blue, gray throughout, and then the beautiful looking vest with the Elite 37 head skin on there and the great looking armbands and who knows when the hell he'll wear this if he ever wears it in the pick fed, I don't know if he'll wear it in the pick fed or not, I just, I don't want to damage it at all, but who knows man, anything can happen. Anything is possible, but there is the next. I don't even know what to call this. Somebody give me a cool name for this attire. I have no idea what to call it down in the comment section below. That is the challenge for this video. Name this attire for Seth Rollins. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the MDT Sold Out AJ Styles is what this attire is called. And so, basically, I took the Elite 51 AJ Styles, I painted all of the black on it in white, and then I lined up the silver in the light blue color, and then I outlined all of that in black and left a thin silver line, and then painted over the P1, painted the gloves, painted up the phenomenal logos down here in silver. I, this is one of my favorite attires. I love this so much. He did wear this as he was defeated by CM Punk at MDT Sold Out, and I know my boy Jesus is really upset, and he really wants this figure in his collection, but I, I just can't get rid of it, man. It just looks so good. I have to keep it so far, but this is definitely one of my favorite AJs, if not my favorite AJ in my collection. It's just so clean, man. That white just freaking just pops off, and it's just so beautiful. Nothing beats Carolina blue and white. Speaking of Carolina, guys, we have my man Cedric Alexander here in the Fantasy Attire Spider-Man Attire, and I just basically took an Elite Series 67 Cedric Alexander. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. I torso swapped it with an Elite Kofi to give him the ripped up torso, and then I painted it up in Spider-Man colors. You got all the good stuff going on in the royal blue and red. You got the black lines, red knee pads with blue backing. You got the all red kick pads with white outsoles, and you have the Cedric Alexander logo on the butt here. Really good stuff. One of my favorite attires in my collection as well. This is probably one of the most recent customs I've done and it looks great man really really excited with the way this one came out and I just love Cedric so I wanted to make a fantasy attire I'll probably have more of these coming in the future but this is definitely the first of many moving ahead guys we have another Punisher custom and it is this Jeff Hardy figure right here everyone knows that I made this Jeff Hardy for the MDT Royal Rumble he came out at entry number one and he almost won the thing I mean he came down to maybe the final six or seven competitors and he lasted in there a very long time one of the Iron Men of the of the Royal Rumble but underneath here we have a Punisher shirt. He's got the trench coat in there. He's got the long black pants, black shoes, and he does have an all black uh, Jeff Hardy uh, top on underneath all of this. He's got the white gauges, and you do see the the Punisher skull in his face paint right there. Really, really looking good in his hair. I also added some white streaks. Uh, one of my favorite figures, again, I think this and the Seth Rollins are just really clean, man. I really do uh, like them a lot. They're probably two of my favorite creations I've ever done 
and so uh, they, they definitely are included here in the Fantasy Attires collection. Next up, guys, we have a couple Dolph Zigglers. We have my MDT Dolph Ziggler sent to me by my man Venomine and BEW as a gift, and thank you so much, guys. I love them so much. And then we have my custom uh, Fantasy Attires Dolph Ziggler that I sort of threw together. It's like a fix-up slash Elite 19 where I painted over the white and black and then just added some different parts together with the long hair. Really nice. I like this attire a lot, but I do love the MDT Ziggler. You got the pink streaks in the hair. Beautiful looking vest. MDT logo on the butt right there, hand painted. MDT logo on the crotch. Beautiful looking zebra print. Who knows if he'll ever wear this in the in the pick fat. I want him to wear, but I don't want to damage the figure, so I don't know. It's, it's really tough to decide what figures you want to use in your fed because you got to be careful posing these things around, man, because you will chip them. So I don't want to chip them. I don't want to damage them, so that's, that's sort of difficult sometimes to decide. But there is two Fantasy Attire Dolph Zigglers. Speaking of twos, we have threes. We have threes right here. We have two Kevin Owens here in two different pink attires, and then we have my uh, my current Kevin Owens, who is the current MDT Extreme Champion, but he's not rocking the championship because he tossed it in the trash on the last episode of MDT Live, but here we have uh, a custom Kevin Owens uh, Elite 61 fix-up where I switched the head, painted over the KO in pink, painted over the KO in pink here, painted some pink kick pads on here, and there's two different versions. You have the KO version here, and then you have the Kevin Owens Live, and so I painted over the show, and then I added Live in pink. That way, you know, he's on MDT Live, so I wanted Kevin Owens Live. Uh, it's basically the same attire except for two different shirts. You know, he kind of does that in real life. Sometimes he'll wear the same uh, the same shorts and stuff, but he'll switch up t-shirt. So there's those two. And then you have the Kevin F. and Owens. He's actually injured right now. That's why he's got the uh, all this stuff going on. But it says Kevin F. and Owens with the white shirt. And I thought that would look really good on top of the black shorts with red. And then I added white outsoles to top it all off. And um, I love all three of these Kevins. Kevin Owens is one of my favorite talents in the world. And so I had to uh, make these up. He's, he's just such a beautiful talent. You guys know how I feel about Kevin Owens. Just, just such good stuff. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we got a few more Seth Rollins here. We have the blue attire Seth Rollins, which I made a long time ago. It's one of the OGs of the channel here. And then we have my pink, gray, and black Seth Rollins that have been recreated by Steinsenberg before. At least this one has. But um, I actually sent Steinsenberg's this one. He, he hit me up and he said, you know what, I, I really want that. Just making a joke and I sent it to him just because I love Cody and I, I appreciate everything he does for the community and everything. So I wanted to send him that. But I remade it and it looks really good. I love this. It actually started off as a Seth Rollins Spider-Man attire. And then I said, you know what, I really love the way this blue looks on this gray. And the way this looks kind of inspired the other attire that you guys saw at the beginning of the video, that fantasy attire that Burnout Inc. made. So if you guys named that one, you definitely need to name this one too. I don't know what the hell you would call it, but you have the blue, gray, and black all coming around. It's just a really nice blue color, so I wanted to keep it. And so there is that one. And then we have this one, which kind of just hit me out of nowhere. And then it ended up looking really good with the pink outlines on all the stuff. Really good looking vest. And I don't know, I was just bored one day and added some pink to it. You know, you give it, you just sitting around bored, you get bored, you know, just add some MDT touch to any figure and it'll make it pop off. So there is that. Next up, guys, we got some pick fed champs. We have the MDT champion, Roman Reigns, and we have the uh, elite champion, the MDT elite champion. These are the two main champions on my shows, and both of them are wearing fantasy attires because Roman Reigns obviously doesn't, he's not a part of the bloodline in real life, so this is a fantasy attire. Attire if he were to join the bloodline and turn heel. And then this is a Kenny Omega attire um, where it just has the Kenny Omega logo there. And he's never worn blue tights, I don't believe, before. And on the butt it says Elite because uh, he's the Elite Champion and he's a part of the Elite, obviously, in Bullet Club with the Bucks and everything. And you guys can see there it's the Elite Championship, the Elite logo there. The same logo that's on his butt and I wanted that to match. And it ties into his attires that he's worn in real life, so I thought that was pretty cool. But there's those two. You have Kenny Omega and Roman Reigns. Moving forward, we got Aleister Black. This is a all-white attire, and this is my second Aleister Black, if you're not counting my custom, but I wanted an all-white attire, and that's exactly what I did. So I just bought the Target exclusive NXT Elite, and I painted it up in white trunks. And basically, it's, you know, it's just your basic NXT Target exclusive Aleister Black Elite with white trunks. And then I added Elite 45 Seth Rollins uh, knee pads to give it that gold trim, so it's white with gold trim. Then I added some Seth Rollins lower legs to give it the white uh, calves. And then uh, to increase his height, 
I gave him the Shelton Benjamin kick pads, which have black and gold and white in them, onto those Seth Rollins legs, and it just makes him a little bit taller to give him a more accurate height, and it turned out great. I may get a white vest for this guy. I'm not sure yet. I need to find somebody that'll make it right, and I may paint some uh, white wrist tape on there, but I think the black kind of gives it some contrast, so I like it, but nonetheless, it's a really nice-looking Alistair Black figure. All right, guys, moving on. We do have an all-white Triple H attire. I told you guys I do. I do have a lot of white attires here. This is. I made this a long time ago as well. It's. I think it's an Elite 35 Triple H, and what I did was switch out the legs for um, some legs that had the white tape behind the knees. I painted over the cr iron crosses in black so that there was no red, so you have the white outline there tying in. I put some Elite Brian Pillman boots on there for white boots. You know, I used to wear those back in 04, and then uh, I added my custom uh, bearded sculpted head sculpt that is pretty old now because, you know, uh, we've, we've seen a bearded sculpt from Triple H now from Mattel, so that is something that I may replace in the future, but I, I don't see the point in switching it now. I mean, it looks good enough to keep, and so unless they make a really looking, uh, you know, a really badass looking one, I'll probably just keep this on here, but nonetheless, I love this Triple H figure. Next up, guys, we have two Randy Orton's. We have this uh, sort of like gray, like cool gray lime green and black attire, which kind of looks like his WrestleMania 35 attire if he were to add gray to it. You know, he had the lime green going on. But uh, I didn't add any logos or anything. It's just regular trunk, so that's that. And then over here we have my white attire, which I really love. I wish I'd get a different head sculpt on this thing, which I probably will. I just am. I'm not the biggest fan of the Elite Nine. Um, I don't know why. I guess it's because we've seen other head sculpts. But nonetheless, the trunks look really good. This was made by BEW Animations. It looks so good and clean. The white with the gray text with the black outline really pops off. And I figured, why not go ahead and add white tape to it? And it makes it look even better. And, you know, I mean, I thought at once, me and him thought about, you know, adding white boots or knee pads. But we thought it may be too much. But one day I may switch it. Who knows? But too new. Uh, too new. Two fantasy attire Randy Ordens. And for our finals, guys, we have a bunch of fantasy attire. Tire Finn Balor's, and this is the one that started it all. I did a while back, guys. I, I used to do this thing on Instagram called the Custom MDT Monthly Balor. It was like a custom of the month where I would take a Finn Balor figure and I would make some fantasy attire Finn Balor for each month, and uh, it went on for about six months, I think, and I finally ran out of Finn Balor figures to use, and then I never brought back the series, but here's the one that started it all. It is the It 2017 Remake Finn Balor, which uh, really uh, blew up on Instagram. People loved it, and then that's what continued the trend, maybe continue the trend. Finn Balor even liked it, and so it really inspired me to keep going, so I kept making them, and uh, we, we made a few here. Um, we have, I don't know what this one's called, but we have like this lime green and black demon. We made this Grinch one for Christmas, and it looks pretty freaking crazy. It even has the Kobe 7 Christmases on, which, which tie in nicely there. We also have this Terminator one, which is a lot of people love. Um, which was an OG. A lot of the, these are all original designs that I just kind of made up in my head. Um, so there is that. You got the Grinch, you got the Lime Green and Black, you got the Terminator. You have the Batman Finn Balor, which I also made. The head sculpt was made by BEW. You got the Batman logo on the chest. You can see some paint chipping off now because it's getting older. And then the last one is the White Phantom Attire is what I like to call it. And there is that. You got the like sort of the design trickling down the neck. White tights, white sleeve, white knee pads, and black and white kick pads. And I think that's my full Fantasy Attire collection. Actually, you know what? There's actually two more on the shelf that I'm going to go ahead and grab. So here are the last three guys. We have three more Roman Reigns to finish us off. We have an all-white Roman Reigns with the gold and black really nice figure that I made a long time ago and this thing's really old now I mean my god the legs are loosey-goosey it's really nice I, I need to remake it to be honest with you but uh, it, it was a super just super pain in the butt to paint up we also have my United States Roman Reigns if he were to become US champion I thought this would have been a great shield design here you have the logo with the US flag behind it with gold and navy paint and then we have another bloodline Roman Reigns in white vest with white pants and red shoes sort of a variant to the red one that you guys saw but that is pretty much it for my full fantasy attire collection, guys. You can see here all the figures stacked up. I would love, now, love to know down in the comment section below, guys, which one is your favorite. You know, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, Punisher Hardy, whichever one is your favorite. Also, do not forget, down in the comment section below, please name this attire. What is the coolest name you can come up for for this Seth Rollins attire? I'd really like to know. Um, I, I really cannot come up with anything. Nothing is popping up in my head, but if you guys have something, please let me know down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Expect some SummerSlam videos coming this week because you guys know that SummerSlam is coming up on Sunday. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.